I'm with Tony Dabbs here from Nike and we're looking at the Nike Vapor Flex driver. Now this driver, Tony, is it's quite specific. It's geared at one section of the, the golfing community. So tell us yeah. a little bit about it. Yeah, so the, the Vapor Flex is sort of their, our ultimate in what we call the ultimate in precision. So it's a, it's a golf club that really has a very forward center of gravity and very low center of gravity. So what that's going to do is it's going to take spin off the golf ball. For I mean, for those of you that, uh, you know, they're high spin players, this is a great product for you. It's, it's in our in our line, in our vapor new vapor line, this is easily the lowest spinning product in the line. But what's very really unique about it is we have this what we call flex flight technology and what we call a flex pod. Okay, let's okay. see how that works. Yeah, so the, this is a, a simple thing here. We we pull out when we have this cartridge. Okay. Right. And this cartridge, you can, Donald, you can, you can feel that. You'll feel that it's heavy on one side. Yes. So it's like a tungsten weight on one side. Yeah, it's actually just it's steel versus okay. versus basically a, a very lightweight aluminum. Okay. So, so it's a all in. This is a nine gram piece right. where essentially ninety percent of the weight is on one side. Okay. And the way this works is when we put it back in the golf club. So if the with the yellow part, the yellow part is the heavier weight, right. and you can see it kind of drop down or you know, you have the lightweight. When we put it back in the golf club, I'll try to illustrate this for the camera here. So when we put the weight towards the back, as the golf club is coming through, that weight kind of pulls down and that weight pulls loft up a higher trajectory. So we call it mid, so mid in this case, so mid trajectory, okay. mid spin, mid trajectory. When we flip it around and we're actually moving the center of gravity low and forward, Kind of the opposite happens, so it's actually de-lofting or, or trying to get keeping the golf club from lofting and hitting it higher. So, so you have a low launch position here, and you have the high launch position. Fantastic, and I, I guess most golfers would use it with the weight uh, put in uh, towards towards the face of the club. Yeah, it's, it's it depends. Um, so you take for example our Vapor Speed and Vapor Pro. So of the, of in of the three drivers, so the Vapor Speed, for example, is our highest launch, and it's and it's a little bit more spin than and say the Vapor Pro. So the Vapor Pro would sit in the middle and then regardless of which position this is in, it's this driver will sit below the Vapor okay. Vapor Pro. In either position, in whichever either way position. the way. So it's still below in spin. Now you just have ability to get even less. Okay. So so in, in a lot of cases, so when you put weight back, you're increasing MOI. So actually for a lot of us, we may put the weight back because it's already very low spinning, but garner make it a little bit more stable. But yeah. better players might take a chance and they might experiment by putting yeah. the weight forward, oh. reduce the spin, and can they adjust the loft on this vapor flex? They can, yes. So much like all your our entire vapor line, we have the flex loft 2.0. So you have the the 85 through 125 loft adjustment. So basically taking taking trajectory, moving up and down, and you also have the you know the side to side movement which is as we dictate it left right and neutral well thanks a million tony that is the nike vapor flex driver it's a really interesting product and you can check out all our nike products on golfbitter.com